Um, this is the most chaotic move-in vlog. I, uh, I don't know what else to say. Okay, still moving out a bunch of stuff. Got my bed out and still have a bunch of more boxes and furniture. I'm about to go um, sign my lease and start getting moved in. Kind of nervous, kind of scared. I'm gonna change and then we're gonna go. Okay, so it's my first morning in the apartment. My face is swollen. I haven't been recording that much because honestly, this has been a traumatizing experience. I've cried like nine times. I think today I feel a lot better. I'm gonna go to work and then after that I'm gonna go to the stores and go get more stuff and try to unpack because I haven't unpacked anything. I just have boxes open and I have to go to work. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I mean today, but later. Okay, bye. Update, my car got towed. Sometimes things in life are just meant to be hard, I guess. And my mom has to drop me off at work. Um, this is the most chaotic move-in vlog. This is hard to watch. I, uh, I don't know what else to say. Okay, so basically what happened was and why I was having like a breakdown is because the night before was my first night in my apartment and honestly, I was really sad. I felt super lonely. I also didn't have the internet or TV, so I was just like really sad, like sorry about it, but um, the internet, like I need the internet basically. It's sad, but you know, I was like crying all night because I was just really, really sad and then the next day I woke up and I was like, I feel better. Um, only to find out that I go into the parking lot and my car is gone. It's towed. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I started crying again. What you just saw, I was like, just finished crying. But then my parents came and picked me up and took me to work because I really needed to go to work. I had my client in like an hour. After that, I was just like discouraged about even filming anything. But then I, a few days later, went to Costco. And so that's what you're about to see. Okay, I got the goods. I got my iced coffee. Just came back from Costco. I'm so sweaty from going up the stairs so much. This is what we got from Costco. It's a bunch of stuff. Hi, Mochi. Let's do a little haul time. First thing, croissants. Red pepper flakes. You know you had to do it. Six pack of avocado. Pack of towels. Swiffer stuff. I have to see if this fits my Swiffer. Got some kitchen organizers, oil, and detergent. Okay, so I'm gonna start unpacking all of the stuff. So far, I've gotten, oh my gosh. I have calming cat music on. So far, I've gotten like most of my stuff unpacked, but honestly, I have like no furniture. So I have nowhere to put a lot of my stuff. So all the stuff that I simply don't have room for is just staying in boxes for now. The vibes are set because I finally got a TV and internet. And like, I literally need internet to be happy. So there's that. Oh, look at this. This is where I'm gonna keep my um, avocados and limes, I guess. I don't know, for now. This iced coffee is so good. This is the butter pecan. Um, iced coffee from Dunkin Donuts. Period. Right now it's um, $1.50 for a medium. Starbucks, where like where's that same energy with the price? Because this is $1.50 and it's so good. Get it if you haven't tried it. Go to Dunkin Donuts, try the butter pecan. Okay, I'm gonna try to clean up a little bit and then I'll show you guys the update. Oh, and I finally brought Mochi over. Look at how cute she is. She's getting used to um, being in a new home. She's acting a little crazy because she's a little bit scared. Ah! Oh yeah, this is the update on my nails. I had to take them off because they were too long for me to be moving all these boxes. Oh, but they lasted actually, I think they lasted like two weeks um, until I had to take them off. But okay, see y'all in a second. Okay, so I've been trying to film a moving vlog since the past few days that I've moved into my apartment, but I've pretty much gotten nothing done. It's been a chaotic, wild ride. 
So I don't even know how I'm going to piece together those clips that I have. But today I'm going to Ikea. I love Ikea, but it's during um, Corona time, so I don't know if I, I'm supposed to say that on YouTube. But basically, they were shut down and now they're open up again. I'm kind of spooked. Also, where I live, it's literally illegal to like not wear a mask right now. So this is the mask that I have. It's from Hobby Lobby. And let me show you guys my fit. Okay, so you can kind of see that my room is extremely messy. But here's a fit. It's a happy fit today because I'm wearing some color. This is blue. I think I'm going back into my blue phase. I just have some shoes on. And then my mask. We're probably going to go to a coffee shop, and then we're going to hit Ikea. I'm so excited because I need furniture so bad. I can't wait to show my apartment, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So cute. I wish my kitchen looked like this. Where? For my iPad? Oh, that's a good idea. Ooh, I like this placement. Those are my colors. Oh, they're on sale. Hey, these are cool. You like those? The little knot or whatever. Um, I really like these also, though. Hmm, but I like these because they, they would look so cute in my apartment. On the white? I think I'll get four. I like this dish set the most. Oh look, these are the cups that I want. Oh wait, no they're not, but they look really cute. Wait, these are only 79 cents? Ooh, look, for your placements too. Oh, those kind of match. You could put ice cream and then pull a shot on top. That would be so good. Okay people, so my camera is about to die. I'm gonna do a quick haul of all the things I got at Ikea. And I realized that this is probably going to be a video that's broken up into different parts because right now I just can't get everything in like a week. I have a lot more furniture to get. So let me just show you the few things that I got at Ikea. The other pieces of furniture that I wanted to get from there um, were sold out. That always happens to me at Ikea. So I'm ordering them online and then they're probably just going to take a while to ship. So when I make my part two, hopefully you'll be able to see it. These are placemats. I got them for my um, dining table. This is pink and then it's like pastel. I want the theme that I'm going for in here is like really light, all light colors for like furniture and stuff like that. But for the accessories, I want um, a lot of pops of color to make it look really fun and colorful. I got this little hat thing for Mochi so she can like run through it because I think she's getting bored here. And oh, I needed this tool set because I have like no tools and it comes with some of this stuff. I think this was like 10 bucks or something like that. They also had a lot of sales so I just got these um, bags. They're just regular. I needed some silverware so I got that. Oh, they had these shot glasses for I think it was like 70 something cents. For all four of these. I got some of these cups. They're pink. I don't know if you can really tell, but they're like pink little cups for like iced coffee. Okay, so my camera's about to die, so I'll see y'all. I'm in my kitchen. I was gonna say, why did I feel the need to come on camera like looking like that? But then I looked at myself right now and it's like, what's the difference, honestly? Right now, I'm gonna put up all the stuff I got from Ikea. I got these refrigerator organizers, and I think I'm gonna use the small ones for cups to organize them in the cabinet. I'm already tired, and I literally did one thing. Look at these Hello Kitty cups that my boyfriend got me. I want to cry. They're so cute. I'm gonna put them in here so I can easily just pull them out. This is a little uh, drink shaker, but you could also uh, shake up like coffee and stuff in there. In this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, here's the second one. These are literally the only cups I have. Now I can just pull them out if I need to and I don't have to reach really far in the back because these are just super deep. And my shot glasses. I think I should just keep them in this packaging until I use them, so I'm just gonna put them back here.
Okay guys, so I'm editing this video and I finally have a good update. I didn't want to leave that video on a bad note, but that was the last I filmed. My apartment has completely turned around and let me show y'all what I have done here. I finally got a table. This is actually extendable so it comes out a little bit more this way, but right now I just have it in the small one. These chairs are not going to stay here. These are actually outdoor chairs, but they're the only ones I have right now. I cleared up all the boxes. I only have a few more left. Also, I put my bed right here because I still don't have a couch and I like to watch TV, so I'm just sleeping out here for now until I get a couch. And then I'm going to put my bed back in my room and I'll put the couch somewhere right here. These are the only boxes I have left to unpack. I just am waiting for a little bit more furniture and then I can put them out. And then I got this really pretty bookshelf from Walmart. It was only $30. But this helped me so much to put some stuff in. So what I'm going to do over here is just use this for like all my art stuff. Because just recently I got a Cricut. I'm about to do an unboxing video. So wait for that video. It's coming next. And um, all my art stuff for stickers is going to go right here. And then maybe I'll put a desk over here. For now, I'm going to use that table as a desk. I got another butter pecan iced coffee, but this time I didn't get any cream or sugar, so I just put my own soy milk in it, and it's so much better. I'm not going to fully show everything yet because I want to do an apartment tour whenever it's completely furnished, um, but I also want to show you guys a few more things I got from Ikea because I went again. I got these plates. This is like a blue color, but it looks black, and these to match my placemats. I actually ended up using this for my coffee because I got this coffee maker. You guys need to be on the lookout for this coffee maker because it's right now $80 at Hobby Lobby, but it's also half off, so it's basically $40. I'm seeing them sold on the internet for over $100, so keep your eye out for one of these if you like the color pink and you like these um, K-Cup coffee makers. My favorite coffee from it right now is the Blonde Starbucks blend. It's so good and it actually has a lot of caffeine. I'm going to keep editing this video. All I have left to do is add cute little drawings and all of the fun stuff. So I just finished all the rough cuts and that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. My next video is actually going to be an art vlog where I'm going to show you guys um, how I use all of this stuff right here. And I'm also going to be unboxing that Cricut. Say bye Mochi. Okay, see y'all in the next video. Bye.